Pi Trio stands for Plymouth iPad Trio, and um, it was inspired really by my buying an iPad for myself and then investigating some of the music applications that were on the iPad. Um, and there came a point, at first I was a little disappointed because the applications I found just seemed to be versions of what you'd find on a normal laptop, but you touch the screen to do things rather than press keys or move a mouse. And then as I began to dig a little deeper, I found out, well, I found two applications initially that literally blew my mind in the middle of the night. I found these in the app store and I started playing with them and, and I thought, I just could not believe what I was seeing. And a similar thing happened about a month later. Um, I, I, and I've had this repeated a uh, number of times playing with stuff on the iPad and I, I was just inspired, I thought I have to do something with this, it's not enough just to look at these and think that's the coolest thing I've ever seen, I want to do something and other people have been inspired to, it, to do this, I know people like uh, Brian Eno um, and um, Bjork have been inspired by the iPad um, in different ways and I was inspired by what I found, it's a whole new, if you haven't used an iPad, what I'm saying may be meaningless, you know, I've talked to other composer friends uh, and musician friends who say the same as I said a year ago, I used to say it's just a big iPhone, and then I bought one, and then I found musical software specially designed for the iPad, and I was, everything changed in my mind, and I formed the Pi Trio, Pi Trio, P-I Trio, uh, Plymouth iPad Trio, um, I've got my iPad here connected up to the screen, so you, in a moment you should be able to see that Pi Trio. That's uh, that's basically um, why I, why I thought it was quite nice. And in the background there, you can see my finger playing with uh, one of the uh, applications that we use in our performance. So three iPads I thought would be nice um, to do musical performances and to try and do stuff you could only do with iPads. Um, another element with the iPad is the, the, the visual and the control are one and the same. Um, it sounds obvious, but when you actually do things, when you actually start to play around with um, some of the music applications on the iPad, the fact that the, uh, the, fact that the controls and um, the visual are often exactly the same is really, really fascinating to me. So for example, Sound Drop, um, this is one of my favourites, um, it's just so addictive. I can, so you see these balls dropping down from a hole um, and then I uh, draw a little line um, and depending on the location of the line you get a certain, uh, certain um, pitch and then I draw another line there or they're just other and you can see the balls are now bouncing up there, so I suddenly get an urge to catch them down here. Oh, look at that. And you can move the lines around, you can get quite a... Uh, so, this is, this is what I've, I've spent a long time playing around with this. You can end up really being quite childish. It, it brings, it's, it kind of brings a toy aspect to music that I love. Very, the best multi-touch one I've played with is Synthtronica, um, which we'll be utilising. And with this, the filter in this can in fact be used, if I find a good, um, a good sound, which is... What have we got? The filter can be used uh, in a multi-touch sense, so... Can use up to five fingers to adjust the properties of the sound. Which is um, it's a good piece of software. It's almost like a little physical world where you can set up generators, which are these, um, and you can set them moving as well which I will do here, um, and you can add notes to interact with them. So as the notes move around, they meet up with different generators, and the generators will, will drive the notes, essentially. 
this was one of the things which, when I saw it on the iPad and played with it, really made me want to form the Pi Trio, as well as Synthtronica as well. Um, and the final one I'll show you is really, and I'll show you this on my iPhone, it runs on the iPad as well, uh, but this is one of the reasons why when we do the um, performance at Peninsula Arts Contemporary Music Festival, we're going to tell people, bring your iPads and bring your iPhones along, because everyone can join in on this. We've selected a bunch of uh, free instruments on the iPads and iPhones that people will be able to download and install with the help of our technical guys during the first part of the performance to then join in the last part. Um, now this piece of software I'm going to show you here uses the iPad camera in a very simple way. So it's just, right, now it's initialising. The software's initialising because it uses visual recognition to actually run. So it's So it's very simple, but but it impressed me the way that they've used all the aspects of this mobile technology, the camera, the multi-touch, um, to create new uh, paradigms for instruments.